Ladies and gentlemen, the ceremony will be starting shortly. Could I ask you all to take your seats in the arena, please? Thank you.
The ceremony is due to start in a few moments. Before it begins, here are a few housekeeping announcements. Please keep photography to a minimum during the ceremony. Students are reminded that selfies and such behaviour when you are processing across the stage is not appropriate. If, for personal reasons, you do not wish to shake hands as you cross the stage, please carry a copy of the graduation programme that is on your chair with you as you process. When you are asked to leave your seat and queue at the right-hand side of the stage, your name will be checked against the reading list. It is imperative that you are sat in the seat that was assigned to you on your student ticket. Sitting in a different seat can cause problems through the ceremony. Above all, though, please do enjoy your graduation ceremony, and can I ask everybody to please be upstanding for the academic procession. Thank you.
President, my Lords, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to our postgraduate graduation ceremony 2018. Imperial College London's graduation ceremonies commemorate the visit in 1945 of their majesties, the late King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, to the college where they honored our celebration of the 100th anniversary of the foundation of the Royal College of Chemistry, a forerunner of Imperial. The governors of the college resolved that this event should be commemorated each year by an assembly of the governors, the president, the provost, the professors, the readers, the lecturers, and those in statu pupillari as an act of homage to our visitor, the reigning sovereign. This event serves as a mark of gratitude for all those who have helped the college and as a sign of personal rededication to the pursuit of knowledge in science, engineering, and medicine, and to their application for the betterment of mankind. We meet today to recognize and celebrate the outstanding achievements of postgraduate students of Imperial College London. In sporting triumphs, artistic and musical excellence, diversity in both culture and ideas, volunteering, and not least, in academia. In doing so, we acknowledge that you not only have enormous potential to contribute towards the advancement of mankind, but that you also shoulder the burden of expectation created by the achievements of those who came before you. Your time as students in the faculties of medicine and natural sciences never was solely for academia or achievement, but also to immerse yourselves in university life, developing as fulfilled, capable individuals, forging friendships that will last a lifetime, and tackling global challenges. In doing so, you have made a unique contribution to the history of the faculties and the college. In future years, yours will be the shoulders that subsequent graduates stand upon. In the words of King George on the college's first commemoration day, regard your knowledge and your skill, always in the light of a trust for the benefit of humanity, and thereby ensure, so far as in you lies, that science may never be put to uses which offend the higher conscience of mankind. So let us today remember all those who've served the college from its beginning in council and in deeds, and our founder, His Royal Highness Albert the Prince Consort. Let us rededicate ourselves to seeking the truth, to the pursuit of natural knowledge, and to the application of this knowledge to the service of our fellow people in all parts of the world. Gloriat Collegium Imperiali, God save the Queen. Chair, members of court and council, colleagues, graduates, distinguished honorees, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor as the president of Imperial College London to welcome you to the 2018 postgraduate graduation. Today we honor our graduates and awardees. We celebrate their accomplishments and we give them our best wishes for the future. I want to give a special welcome to their friends and family members. Earning a graduate degree at Imperial involves many months of hard, intensive work. Your encouragement and support has been essential to their success. You have contributed to their achievements and you deservedly share in the joy of today's celebration. Seated behind me on this historic stage are my distinguished colleagues they are exceptional researchers, teachers, mentors, and academic leaders. They have an unending dedication to the pursuit of knowledge and to your education and mentorship. We all benefit from that dedication, and we owe them our gratitude. 
Please join me in thanking them. <laughs> Seated with our colleagues to my right is our provost, Professor James Sterling, who will be retiring this summer. Over the past five years, James has guided and led our core academic mission. His leadership, vision, and collegiality will be greatly missed. James, thank you for your leadership. <laughs> Graduates, you receive your degree at an exciting yet challenging time. Revolutionary changes in technology, communications, and information are transforming the way we work, collaborate, and solve problems. The data available to us is increasing rapidly. Computers are becoming more powerful. Our ability to analyze truly complex problems is improving. In business, in government, at universities, and in our personal lives, we now routinely work with and depend upon machines. The promise of artificial intelligence has become the era of artificial intelligence. Its powerful capabilities and prevalence will be an important part of our professional and personal lives. Professor Stephen Hawking, to whom we awarded an honorary degree last year and whose passing we recently mourned, warned of the potential dangers of artificial intelligence and machine learning. He was a harsh critic, but he also said, I am an optimist and I believe that we can create AI for the good of the world, that it can work in harmony with us. We simply need to be aware of the dangers, identify them, employ the best possible practice and management, and prepare for its consequences well in advance. How do we best follow Professor Hawking's counsel? How do we work in harmony with machines? How do we navigate this challenging era of change and opportunity? I believe that an important part of the answer is that we must exercise good judgment. At my annual address in March, I said that good judgment comes from combining knowledge with context and empathy. We need to listen to the world around us. And our first instinct should be to try to understand those things that we do not understand. As you leave this magnificent hall with your imperial degree, you are prepared to navigate and contribute to this new era. Apply what you have learned both inside and outside this great university to hone your judgment. Consider four things. First, use your researching skills. Think beyond the obvious. Dig into facts, check sources, test hypotheses. Sense check the proposition before you. Second, develop and maintain a trusted group of advisors and mentors. Seek perspectives from those having diverse viewpoints. Have role models. Third, be nostalgic. Think about what you have learned from others along the way. Many of my fondest memories as a young academic at Stanford carry subtle lessons by virtue of the examples of things my colleagues, my students, and my friends said and did. Finally, follow your heart, your gut instincts, your intuition. These reflect your values. Trust your values when you need to make important decisions. You are forever part of this wonderful university. I hope that in the days and years to come, you will reflect on how you grew as scholars and individuals during your time here. And I hope that your appreciation and affection for the college grows. Maintain your connection to Imperial. Stay in touch with your classmates and professors and share your experiences with us. Please come back as alumni and inspire the next generation of students with your successes. All of us are very proud of you.
Congratulations. President, I beg leave to present those who have received awards within the Faculty of Medicine. The names will be announced by Professor Myra McClure, Professor of Retrovirology, Professor Terry Tetley, College Consul, Non-Clinical, and by Professor Desmond Johnson, Vice Dean for Education in the Faculty of Medicine. And due to the large number of graduates being presented this afternoon, may I ask the audience to reserve applause to prize winners and until encouraged to by the name reader. Thank you. <clears throat> Faculty of Medicine, Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, National Heart and Lung Institute. Felicia Ajay, Farah Ahmed, Irun Akademir, Azhar Saud Akhmimi, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Medical Ultrasound, Echocardiography, Lamia Khaled Al Sakan. Asil Alfu Hayat, Arij Mohammed Al Jemani, Mariam Al Sharki, Shima Ameri, Dulasi Arun Thavar Raja, Abby Bell, Robin Bell, Shaima Bishaira, Courtney Shatterton Bartley, Nora Clark, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Genomic Medicine, Yasemin Cole. Alex Dale, Kelly Siobhan de Coteau, Wail Ali Hussein Fagehi, Amira Gulam, Monica Rebecca Jill Garzon, Nikita Grover, Sanjana Gupta, Kaisheri Rini Guthrie Fenty, Samar Hamad, awarded the Faculty of Medicine's Dean's Prize for Preventive Cardiology, Aisha Hamid. <laughs> Mutia Hardi Yuna, Dr. Sandra Natalia Howell, Tiffany Huang, Hui Huan Yong, Shaliza Khan, Hui Ann Ko, Asha Kumulil Joy, Pamel Beer Ladar, Rebecca Langley, Hei Ling Lau, Carl Lee, Zi Ning Liu, Intan Wibawante Masfufa Nushid Masuda Claire Louise Mora Donna McKenty Miriam Mendez Tavio 
Christina Marina Mikalaki, Senab Mohammed Farah, Amtu Shafi Mubarak, Mari Muramet, Galib Noor, Lydia Namanda Nayeka, Maureen Pang, Iona Papakara Lampus, Al Caterini Pilou, Natasha Setiasti Primadita, Tamara Nicole Roach, Amalia Sintu, Natasha Strevens, Mabia Sultana, Anne Marie Tiernan, Isabel Turban, Kaiwat Washira Sakaksiri, Bevan Whitehead, Lisa Wilku, Ali Zaini, Tamsin Zavadsky, Drone Yuton. That concludes the Masters of Science graduates from the National Heart and Lung. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Medicine, Farah Masood Alam. Sara Antoniazzi. Adriana Azor, Gurpreet Barge, Karim Bustani, Sebastian Roy Boer, Ye Kao, Holly Carden, Stefan Carver, Travis Kiarentin. Daniel Stephen Cochran, Edward Anthony Cruz Silveira, Chloe Darvishani Fikawi. Awarded the Jill Warner Prize, Colette Dat. Baha Epti Haj, Smaragda Lampridu, Yuan Feng, Christina Raquel Fernandez, Isabella Goldsborough, Catherine Good, Hazel Guerrero, Kritima Gurang, Fatima Heduri, Jesse Hugh, Svenja Huench, Samuel Hume, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Allergy, Hannah Hunter. Heyman Pidar Inns, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Translational Neuroscience, Naja Islam. <laughs> Jonathan Israel, Liu Jun Mun, Stephanie Kafetsis. Uruch Lushner, Ludmila Lopkovitz, Deimanti Lukosai Taiti, Patricia Lutalo, Teresa Masunu, 
awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Immunology, Megan McPhee. Phoebe Elizabeth Dixon. Shakira Noel. Mustafa Osbaran. Zoe Papuzzu. Mira Patel. Lucy Hanna Petageni. Yuska Pondeka. Sujana Regmi. Louisiana Ronvoise, Lucy Robson, Rosaria, Angie Tatiana Ruiz Taez, Barbara Saltzman, Joanna Saville, Jennifer Shelley, Sindhu Sivagna Nasi Thayar, Monja Stein, Sami Hassan Ali Sultan, Walid Suyad, Gillian Tang, Nicoleos Tataridas Palas, Yusuf Temeu, Rosica Todorova, Mina Wenzel, Paula Villa Gomez, Matteo Vigneo Carl, Wang Liang Di, Christopher Ward, Alice Watkinson, Georgia Webster. Hang on. Bing Yan, awarded the Faculty of Medicine's Dean's Prize for Molecular Medicine, Joanna Zamarbide Lozada. <laughs> Yi Zhang, Rosa Zudi, Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Research, Department of Medicine. Sheikha Juber Al Nuehi. <clears throat> Fauzia Amalia. Uthina Arul Das. Cameron Bruce. Jean Pedro Murnani Rocha. Georgia Caspani. Patricia Castro Abarca. Rebecca Chung, Aigu Dagbasi, Kira Glatzel, Taras Gut, Soha Jumshaid Iqbal, Samantha Jerin, Elena Alexandrovna Konova. Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Experimental Neuroscience, Janessa Lancaster. <clears throat> James Lind, Charlotte Luff, Terizzo Mazen Enga, Alexander Gemmel Miguel, Ahmad Osman. Nishalini Perin Pathasan, Laura Rigal, Karis Ringland, Melissa Shukiuru Glu, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Clinical Research in Human Nutrition Stream, Janjira Sogi Jiwao. Tan Li Yi, Shin Yi Tan, Juliet Tai, Sin Yuan Zhang, Wenji Zhu, 
That concludes the Master of Science and Master of Research graduates from the Department of Medicine. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, School of Public Health, Noreen Ahmad, Jack Barfoot, Sandra Bivaget, Atirat Bunjar Siri, Xie Yu Chang, Fahin Dad Vora, Phoebe Christina Duzinia, Safa Al Gajwari, Rebecca Elwood, Grace Farmilo, Alicia File, Yuna Geary, Kelsey Victoria Gibbs, Sarah Hayes, Afra Herford, Romana Isakovitsova, David Jorgensen, Theresia Nioki Kimani, Praveena Mahadevan, Olivia Murrin, Shamir Nasir, Nadja Nasreddin, Agaliki Dola, Panagiotta Pagoni, Dennis Protsiuk, Mariam Rahim, Achana Ramhesh, Kieran Rustich, Saredu Said, Sarawat Sankeu, Sophie Scanlon, Marissa Saflir, Teresa Swift, Giali Tao, Vivian Wee, Alice Williamson, Zhao Zhong, Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Public Health, School of Public Health. Jose Akuyo, Lubna Al-Ariki, Samea Al-Hardin, Lubna Al-Ariki, Abra al Dani, Kevin Kwame Ampe, Mary Barker, Shivraj Bajwaj, Stefano Biondi, Isabel Blackmore, Talia Boshari, Rachel Christie. Awarded the Master of Public Health Prize, General Stream Dissertation, Megan Cup. Shalmali Deshpande, Linda Eftihu, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Public Health, General Stream, Alette Elms. <laughs> Olga Femina, Manabu Heyama, Sophie Hughes, Heather Humphreys, Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Public Health, General Stream, Emanuela Eichem. <laughs> Yi Hoi Liang. Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Master of Public Health, Global Stream, and the Master of Public Health Prize, Global Stream, Dissertation. Maya Malarski. Amy Michael, Amira Musa, Preeti Nagarajan, Nazia Noor, Henna Palmer, Janaid Powis, Hena Gerard, Isil Rahimi, Joel Torres, Rajaye Shariari. James Stanner. Awarded the Wellcome Trust Center Global Health Dissertation Prize, 
Michael Tedeschi, Michal, awarded the Wellcome Trust Centre Global Health Student Prize, Deborah Ten Brink. Monica Valenza, Valentina Voss, Rachel Watts, On Yi Wong, Yu Ting Yang. That concludes the Masters of Science and Master of Public Health graduates from the School of Public Health. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> of Surgery and Cancer. Oliver Ade Bayou, Najra Ali, Torath Amin, Lindsay Baxter, Jennifer Billington, Christopher Bird, Rebecca Kate Bott, Sedana Bura, Ines Chapachorda, Kelly Craig, Katrina Darling, Zainab Dave. Faisal Ahmad Dilib, Benjamin Joseph Doak, Shakti Dukiran, Tanya Sonia Sara Farouk Eslamlu, Matthias Ferrafari, Jessica Foley, Karishma Paran Singh Gohar, Saro Juhaji, Sabina Hafezji, Laura Halliday, Verity Hawks, Clara Higgins, Zara Hussein, Uzoma Ibachukwu, Kriso Yanu, Chrysanthi Kuri, Beth Mackay, Monica Akapani, Komal Makwana, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Health Policy, Ruth Marshall. <laughs> Catherine Martin, Sarah McAleer, Daphne Moshidu, Lucy Mossett, Ravi Nayak, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Reproductive and Developmental Biology, Charlotte Quinn. Claymore Richardson, Louise Rogers, Victoria Tumazi, David Michael Wedderell, George Wharton, Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Research, Department of Surgery and Cancer, Esther Ajaye. <laughs> Masanori Asai. Aethna Atkinson. Artur Bana. Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Microbiome in Health and Disease Stream, Grace Barker. Toby Barnes, Dania Bashir. Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Anesthetics, Pain Medicine and Intensive Care Stream, Florence Beckett. <laughs> Joshua Benson, Lauren Boland, Liliana Brito, Shi Ling Chen, Razia Chowdhury, Isabel Coles. Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Epidemiology, Evolution and Control of Infection Stream, Amy Diggy. <clears throat> Asia Erte, Hailing Fan. Eptihal Farage, Celine Jeanche, Diliana Jankova, Juana Gonzalez Bieno, 
awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Cancer Biology, Sela Gonzalez Walder. <laughs> Elliot Harper awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Biomedical Research, Emily Heathwood. Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Respiratory and Cardiovascular Science, Charles Houston. <laughs> Raquele Invenissi. Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Biomedical Research, Data Science, Maria Laura Cominia Urilli. Priyanika Yeakuma, Yanasitha Jiramonkol, Joshua Kaplan, Mariam Shaker Camden, Cassandra Cosmidu, Desislava Marinova Kuzeva. Awarded the Hamlin Prize, Wei Li. Jonathan Lee, Sarah McCann, Joshua McQuail, Tobias Metcalf, Solom Solomon Midexa, Kyotaru Miyasita, Nehru's Muhammad, Roisin Mongay, Jack Morris, Stephanas Nicolaou, Savas Nicolau, Lynette Nioni, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Medical Robotics and Image Guided Intervention and the Hamlin Prize, Emma Sullivan. <laughs> Michael Olani Peckham, Afyong Ika Okwa, Alice Ormrod, Atanas Radev, Adam Roberts. Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Bacterial Pathogenesis and Infection Stream, Akshay Sabnis. <laughs> Douglas Salmon, Artia Sarmin. Artia Sarmin, Amina Shadab. Chon So, Gayathri Sritharan, Georgia Stavru, Elona Shinovsky, David Schweiboda, Ottili Swinyard, Athanasios Salikis, Siraya Ula, Flavia Valeo. Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Cancer Biology, William Villiers. <laughs> Anna Christina von Holsen Rorscher, Jin Ray Wen, Thomas Williams, Yi Zhao, Guljan Yeldag, Sitsia Zhu. Zhu Men Zhang, Jiaxi Zhong, Qi Yin Drong, Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Education, Department of Surgery and Cancer, Raj Chandra. <clears throat> Azal Hussein, Hiroka Komori, Joseph Quili, Ritu Sina, Sam Weiss, Maria Whelan, Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Philosophy, Department of Surgery and Cancer, Graham Davis. Okay. Ming Yao Wang. 
That concludes the Masters of Science, Master of Research, Master of Education and Master of Philosophy graduates from the Department of Surgery and Cancer. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Diploma of the Imperial College Doctor of Philosophy, Institute of Clinical Science, Katrina Bloznet Lee Tay, George Chanel, Timothy Davis, Benjamin Foster, Suchira Ipeksha Galaj, Michelle Kokanu. Amalia Martinez Segura, Charlotte Mykura, Eleanor Paul, Claire Pilgrim, Alice Pollard, Oana Tillican, Robin Willows. That concludes the Doctor of Philosophy graduates from the Institute of Clinical Science. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Medicine, National Heart and Lung Institute, Alexandra Adams. Catherine Harmon. Catherine Oakland, Rebecca Thursfield, Richard Till. Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, National Heart and Lung Institute, Ashton Barnett Vanes, Craig Batista, Katie Bayfield, Sarah Bowling, William Branchett, Peter Brook, Maeve Elder, Merlin Fair, Rose Farre Garros, Anna Gwaden Paredes, Shovik. Haldar, Kwan Leong Hao, Eiling Heng, Victoria Jaskaiti, Christopher Kane, Abdullah Rubiat Khan, Gaithri Kiru, Laura Ann McGill, William McNulty, Maria Miguel Diaz, Rishi Pabari, Sandeep Panikar, Diran Patel, Luke Anthony Payne, Claire Raphael, Gillian Ray, Koval Elrado Smith, Claire Smith, Samir Suleimani, Upasna Tayal, Vasilios Vasiliou, Carmelina Vinci, Michael David Waller, Hishang Yu Yang. That concludes the Doctor of Medicine and Doctor of Philosophy graduates from the National Heart and Lung Institute. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates.
Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Medicine, Department of Medicine, Robert Cooper, Rumana Islam, Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Medicine, Ward Al Najim, Habib Al Bib, Rabindra Basu Roy, Anna Battersby, Norzawani Buang, Charles Walter Birch, Claire Byrne, Esmita Chirani, Ivan de Backer, James de Pasquale, Quiz Ding, Robert Fisher, Nida Forof Ifar, Ari Gafson, Chiaro Giacomaxi, Jennifer Goldblatt, Regina Agnes Gunster, Ishwari Gurung, Frederick Giapon Quast, Aishwarya Krishna, Nicholas Killilis, Gui Han Lee, Chong Wai Lim, Christopher Lynch, Baya Chimeg Mashbat, Mohammed Jawad Naishahi, Charlotte O'Brien, Sandra O'Cala, Vera Pader, David Pitcher, Killian Quinn, Miriam Rees, Nisha Rockwood, Rebecca Scott, Amanda Seekings, Maria Weinert, Ashley Whittington, Alexandra Willis. That concludes the Doctor of Medicine and Doctor of Philosophy graduates from the Department of Medicine. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, School of Public Health. Saima Afak. Aratea Bullieri. Elizabeth Cecil. Sulma Mileni Kukunuba Perez. Rita Gosalves Costa Dolivera. Julia Holder. Elizabeth Koshi. Lucy Lee. Bushra Siddiqui. Li Yan. Bin Chao. That concludes the Doctor of Philosophy graduates from the School of Public Health. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Medicine, Department of Surgery and Cancer. Pramjithlal Bashkaran. Colin McKenzie, Omar Mutlak, Gauri Shankar Paramasavam, Kenesh Pradi Patel, John Robert Stephen Porter, 
Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Surgery and Cancer. Mark Abel. Diana Alexieva. Munira Al Saleh. Zainab Mohammed Mohammed Al Sharif. Stefan Antonovic. Shobit Ariya, Alan Askari, Musafer Chowdhury, Navila Chowdhury, Evelyn Jane Corner, Samir Damji, Kaylee Davis, Maria Luisa Doria, Anna Luisa Neves, Flavia Maria Lucia Fioretti, Kelsey Margaret Flott, Athanasia Georgia Coppolu, Marina Giorgio, Oliver Graham, Michael Holsworth, Karim Hamawi, Antoinette Hardy Sir, Alexander Harris, Daniel Homola, Jeremy Huddy. Gareth Griffith Jones, Upeka Karuth Aran Athna, Lindsay Kindinga, Philip Lawton, Helen Laycock, Laura Kate Leary, Sri Lakshmi Malapa, Shiro's Merchant, Haley Moore, Shivanthi Nayagam, Elizabeth Oliver, Alan Passy, Nisha Patel. Mahim Qureshi, Sunrit Randawa, Liza Selly, Nolan Selvapat, Carlo Alberto Seneki, Nishal Mohan Shah, Caroline Shaw, Ilsa Sita Lumsden, Tayana Sukup Asensau, Sylvia Spasini, Taranjit Singh Tatla, <laughs> Casey Thompson, Jocelyn Tilner, Sharon Marie Weldon, Tom Wiggins, Catherine Williams, Tian Lai Yang, Chi Chuan Ye, Xiao Yang Zhao, Xie Zheng, Junior, Julia Zollner. That concludes the Doctor of Medicine and Doctor of Philosophy graduates from the Department of Surgery and Cancer.
and the faculty of medicine. I would now like to announce the Student Award for Outstanding Achievement, and I'd like to ask Dr. Ishita Marwa to come forward, please. Would you join me on stage? If you can stand right here. Thank you. Dr. Ishita Marwa has initiated a wide range of projects to share science and excite people about research. A talented writer, Dr. Marwa blogs for the Faculty of Medicine and the Huffington Post. She has also been recognized for her literary fiction and was shortlisted for the BAME Short Story Prize, organized by The Guardian and Fourth Estate Publishers in 2016. <laughs> we'll, we'll clap later. <laughs> she has used her creative skills to develop animations and short films including a hugely successful film about the immunology of latent tuberculosis, which is now part of a nationwide TB awareness campaign run by Public Health England. Dr. Marois' creativity and passion for communication have helped to create new connections between scientists and the general public. Therefore, I invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Dr. Ishita Marwa the Student Award for Outstanding Achievement in recognition of the considerable, considerable contributions he has made to the life and work of Imperial College London. Thank you. President's medals, medalists for the Faculty of Medicine. The CDK7 team of Professor Anthony Barrett, Dr. Matthew Fuchta, Professor Charles Coombs, Professor Simak Ali. Success in drug discovery is a rare event, fraught with many challenges, not least of which is obtaining the funding to progress from a hypothesis all the way through to a first-in-man study, ultimately a licensed medicine. The CDK7 team overcame these challenges and initiated a project that led to the development of a first-in-class anti-cancer drug. This is hugely significant for the college and for cancer research in general, and this has the potential to provide much needed new treatment for resistant cancer. The team's success is a testament not only to the quality of their research, and expertise, but also to their tenacity, their vision, and their entrepreneurial leadership. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by Council, to award the CDK7 team of Professor Anthony Barrett, Dr. Matthew Fuchta, Professor Charles Coombs, and Professor Simak Ali, the President's Medal of Innovation and Entrepreneurship. President's Medal, Dr. Robert Snellgrove. Dr. Rob Snellgrove is a skilled and innovative researcher with a growing international reputation in the sphere of pulmonary inflammation. He has supported himself throughout his career on highly sought after and highly competitive Wellcome Trust fellowships. During his PhD, Dr. Snellgrove published the first author manuscript in one of the most prestigious journals of his field, Nature Immunology, and has built a reputation for publishing in high-impact publications in all the top journals in general science as well as in immunology. He continues to generate an exciting, 
amount of new data, furthering our understanding of basic disease biology and crucial to the development of new treatments for a wide range of diseases of the lung. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by Council to award Dr. Robert Snellgrove the President's Medal for Outstanding Early Career Researcher. <clears throat> Honorary degree, citation for Professor Dame Sally Davis. We are honored to have with us here today the country's most senior doctor, Professor Dame Sally Davis. Professor Davis qualified as a doctor in 1972 and became Professor of Hemoglobinopathies at St. Mary's Hospital Medical School with a clinical practice at Central Middlesex Hospital, uh, the college, of course, merging with Imperial College in 1988. After joining the civil service in 2004, Professor Davis rose swiftly through the ranks to become Chief Scientific Advisor to the Department of Health. She held this post for more than a decade, during which time she founded the National Institute for Health Research. It's hard for me to overestimate the impact this new funding organization has had on medical science in the UK, really binding the universities with the hospitals together in a shared mission. Professor Davis is now England's chief medical officer and the independent medical advisor to the government. She works tirelessly to improve and protect the health of the public and patients, guides policy decisions on everything from superbugs to drug trials to childhood obesity. She's also put her knowledge and expertise to use on the international stage, where she leads the global fight against antimicrobial resistance and was a member of the World Health Organization Executive Board between 2014 and 2016. She's led delegations to WHO summits, forums since 2004, advised many countries on health research strategy and its evaluation. We are delighted to honor her today. I invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by Council, to award Professor Dame Sally Davis an honorary degree of Doctor of Science in recognition of her outstanding contribution to medical education and research.
President, I beg leave to present those who have received awards within the Faculty of Natural Sciences. The names will be announced by Professor Mark Bergman, Director of the Centre for Environmental Policy, Professor Alan Armstrong, Head of the Department of Chemistry, Professor Anne Dell, Head of the Department of Life Sciences, Professor David Van Dijk, Head of the Department of Mathematics, and by Professor Michelle Doherty, Head of the Department of Physics. And again, due to the large number of graduates being presented this afternoon, may I ask the audience to reserve applause to prize winners and until the end of each department. Thank you. <clears throat> Faculty of Natural Sciences, Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Center for Environmental Policy, Mohadaseh Abdullahi, Daniel Aylman, Maria Alepi, Yiran An, and Tonas Antoniadas Gabriel. Aluwapu Kayo Adeyola Atima. Emily Baker. Oh, Emily. <laughs> Sarah Awis. My apologies. <laughs> Thomas Ball. Jack Marwood James Alden. Hamish Beath. Iken Besley. Joseph Bevis, Saha Burton, Thomas Bloomfield, Kusara Bugani, Jaina Bolati, Sarah Buske, Daisy Bolin, Leander Brister. Paul Britton, Lewis Brown, Nicholas Brzezineski, William Chambers, Catherine Brown. <laughs> Where are we up to now? Thomas Shalou. Chi Chung, Jordan Clark, Hannah Collings, Han Zhang Kong, oh, Kieran Cooper Craig. Awarded the ACOM Prize, Eloise Cotton. <laughs> Alex King Davis. Marco De Nigris, Diego De Rue, Shanvia Dillon, Hannah Drew. Awarded the Charlotte Rich Memorial Prize for Water and Waste Management, Elavira Falaza Effendi. <laughs> Fu Yu Kin, Jessica Gallica. Dan Gardner, Tace Casaldi, Constance 16 Giroux, Paul Guillon, Theodore, Theodora Hamilton, <laughs> Yisan Hennigan, Rhiannon Holden, Elizabeth Jackson, Mitil Joshi, Edward Cashy, Isabel Kelvin, Vivian Kissel Chech, Rosemary Francis Knight, Christina Knupfer, Sabrina Kahn, 
Quoc sum law. Thomas Benoit Lavalley. <laughs> Chester James Lewis. <laughs> Did you hear that? Um, Li Juan Jin. Diane Adelina Limbong. Daniela Linscock. Tim Luck. Shinuri Mahawi Thuru. Basil Mafuz. Julia Mason. Philip Ali. Alisa Mele. Diana Minerva. Minerva? No, I think that's wrong. Um, Chris Moore. <laughs> we'll keep trying. Alisa. Alisa Mele. Yep. Not from the 69. Yeah, yeah. Chris Moore. Vincent Morales, Maho McCullard, Liam Norton, Lilia Ladenova, George Northover, Chidabem Rabufo, Catherine Oldfield, Paloma Ortega Ariaga, Georgia Parker, Marco Petronelli, Francesca Prestinoni, Dorothy Price, David Ray, Tom Francis Reeves, awarded the Adams Prize, Rosie Riley. <laughs> Marika Samuelson, awarded the Environmental Resources Management Prize, William Sharkey. Soterius Somelis, Helen Steiger, Elizabeth Stewart, Shogana Tashiva, Anna Tashiva, Chai Duck Chuang, I was too quick. Ivan Emmanuel Tumpak. Julia Vola. Lovisa Wenberg. Zofia Wittmanska. Anna Weiter. Sebastian Winter. Dalida Yokolieva. Maria Zafiridou. Han Zhang. Ada Alawa, Juman Saeed Al Saklawi, AJ Gambia, Chiha Yiho, Rosalindo Driscoll, Mural Rack, and Punita Sildi sorry, I'll go again, Sildi Varaju, Tom Huday and Sokina Joseph, and, and Samantha Earl. Welcome, Samantha. That now concludes the graduates from the Centre of Environmental Policy. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduating class. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Research, Department of Chemistry. Awarded the Lord Porter Prize, Stephanus Agrotis. <laughs> Rania Fadi Aljanabi. Annalisa Bettini. <laughs> Nur Sabrina Binti Bahid. Julia Campolo. Chiaro Cecanello. Yves Yi San Chan. Victor Chang. Yi Jun Chen. Fatimi Chowdhury.
Eric Antunes. Yijun Chen. Mohit. Mohit Devgan. Sorry. James Duncan. Anastasia Eftihidu. Alfred Evans. Daniel Fernandez Lalenza. Leonard Franca Muller. James Frost. Eager Gao. Awarded the MRES Catalysis and Standing Performance Prize, Yan Jin Guo. Bawana Garung. Callum Hand. Awarded the Mark Seller Certificate of Excellence, Ryan Howard. <laughs> Awarded the Nanomaterials Prize, Ayanis Arides. <laughs> Yutong Zhang. Quiva Joyce. Cassandra Kennedy. Chuki Kwok. Haonan Le. Yu Lin Lee, awarded the Sir Alan First Prize, Benjamin Lewis. <laughs> Dan Lei Lee, Jai Lin, Jan Lin, Yu Lu, Meng Liu, Kenny Maltada Cardenas, Uriel Mary Saint, Awarded the MRES Green Chemistry Dissertation Prize, Michaela McKeever Willis. <laughs> Thomas Mees, Dan Miles, Maria Munoz Hernando, Joshua O'Dude, Sebastian Uller, Miguel Paez Perez. Janet Peet, awarded the MRES Bioimaging Sciences Outstanding Performance Prize, Naomi Perujo Holland. <laughs> Nukorn Planpan, Arnis Pramasari Putri, Carlos Rafael Zibeles, Marco Riccardi, Malta Roll. Lucy Rowlands, Suricharya Ruyas Wangboon, Saba Shivani, James Simpson, Maria Belen Solabarado, Florian Song, Rachel Tucker, Melanie Eugain, Amaya Uriz. Ning Wang, Yi Wen, Mark Wilkinson, Jun Wu, Sabrina Yahia, Leran Zhang, Shenpen Zhang, Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Chemistry, Jose Abbas. Thanos Athanasiadis. Yinne Ao. Stephanie Bandera. Nathan Barlow. Bruno Camino. Nicola Shablu. Stephen Chorner. Emma Coakley. Bethan Coulson. Gregory Craven, Adam Creamer, Sylvia De Lecce, Richard Fogarty, Bethany Harris, Sophia Heckenust, Peter Hill, Michael Horangi, Sheldong Jin, Nakai Jirira, 
Marketa Kubankova, Alistair James Magnus, Bruno Materazzi, Stuart McCluskey, Hanim Salami Binti Mohammed Sawupi, Christopher Mulligan, Dominic Myers, Alex Padgham, Katerina Ree, Matthew Reynolds, Ben Rowley, Jessica Shaw, Hugh Soley, James Squires, awarded the Outstanding PhD in Chemistry Award, Yuying Jasmine C. Nuchutha Samsumet. Benjamin Turner. Lucy Wilson. Christopher Wood. Craig Young. Benjamin Zelaney. Wen Yi Zhao. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Chemistry. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduate, graduating class. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Life Sciences, Rebecca Orgaya. <laughs> Eleanor Appleby. Nell Bayou, Nicholas Barton, Samantha Beard, Joseph Beacon, Charlotta Sophie Behrens, Nora Burke, Joseph Bishop, Charlene Bowie, Karen Bongrain, Joseph Bonsall, Carl Barufka, Rocio Caro Consuegra, Rachel Cassidy, Bethany Chamberlain, Gemma Charles, Dunia Cherkawi, Joanna Clark, awarded the Southward Prize, Jacob Cohen. <laughs> Thomas Cole, Awarded the Illumina Prize, Richard Cornford. <laughs> Joseph Craig, Rebecca Cribden, Ivan Alexander Croydon Velislavov, Javier Quadrado Korth, Natcha Dan Kittipong, Jennifer Dawson, Dario Daiku, Leander Doni. Awarded the MSc Taxonomy and Biodiversity Prize, Regan Drennan. <laughs> Awarded the Southwood Prize, Adrienne Etard. <laughs> Lauren Fisher. Robin Geldard. Awarded the Centenary Prize for the MSc in Applied Biosciences and Biotechnology, Jakob Vendelen Genga. <laughs> Amy Gibson. Elia Shiro. Alfie Gleason. Sarah Glushek. Niall Hammond. Eva Hamrad. Thomas Hardiman, Lindsay Harris, Joseph Harrison, Freddie Harvey Williams, Johanna Hettinger. Awarded the Innovation Award for the MSc in Applied Biosciences and Biotechnology, Kieran Hugendorn. <laughs> Helen Kate Horsler. Ziyao Huang, Sundas Hussein, Duncan Ingram, Kendra Ivalek, 
berglincows.ear. East Farn Klein. Oscar Lang. Dong Q Lee. Nicholas Yip Keen Lee. Sheng Kuan Lin. Wei Yi Leo. Rebecca Lowe. Alicia Logan. Helen Sarah Long. Elspeth McKellar. Jonas Macarod. Laura Merritt. Awarded the Joseph Hooker Prize, Oliver Metcalf. <laughs> Benjamin Mino. Saul of Moore. Olivia Morris. Sarah Morrison. Juhita Nawari. Ramsha Nawaz. Wee Shen Ung. Philippa Nutkins, Millie Oakley, Fran Olsthorn, Nicole Page, Ernest Palacini, Marina Papadopoulou, Caroline Park, Frederico Pilkington, Megan Rose Pornell, Lucy Reed, Ekaterini Repa, Alexander Rosek. Awarded the Centenary Prize for the MSc in Applied Biosciences and Biotechnology, Konstantin Schneider. <laughs> Emma Louise Scott, John Shelley, Menyi Shen, Vicky, Vicky Standing, Lucy Stoddart, Frieda Svanberg Friesinger, Sine Svensson, Haley Swanland, Charwat Tatthanu Singh, Jamie Thompson, Lorena Tori Majluff, Diana Trikeriko, Ashiba Wadharwan, Awarded the MSc Bioinformatics and Theoretical Systems Biology Prize, Scott Ward. <laughs> Tamia Weston. Matthew Whitlock. Holly Williams. Katie Willis. Brett Wilson. Siu Ray Shi. Young Han. Mengdi Yu. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Research, Department of Life Sciences, Max Addison. Anna Mayut Alvinen. Awarded the Centenary Prize for the MRES in Molecular and Cellular Biosciences, Henry Benz. Tom Brewer, Russell Buckley-Taylor, Eva Bugallo-Blanco, Benjamin Burgess, Thomas Burley, Eleonora Calandra, Christopher Cassell, Federica Cella, Ashley Cheney, Awarded the Berute Mary Gordicus Prize in Tropical Ecology, Jackson Clive. <laughs> Elise Damstra. Awarded the GCE Prize for the MRS in Ecosystems and Environmental Change, Maria Dance. <laughs> Matthew Davey. Elliot Druce. Alexander Duggan, Sam Edwards. Awarded the GCE Prize for the MRS in Ecosystems and Environmental Change, Alice Farelli. <laughs> Kate
Betty Faulkner, Emma Antonia Fox, Camilla Gaspar Kenones, awarded the MRES Biosystematics Prize, Heather Grant, Rachel Greenhill, Sophie Gresham, Hiroki Harazawa, awarded the Illumina Prize, Katie Hinson, <laughs> Katia Hugard, Alexandra Howard, Phil Jervis, Zenia Carlson, awarded the Centenary Prize for the MRES in Molecular Plant and Microbial Sciences, Radoslav Kovalchik. Signe Lagerkrantz, Harry Layfield, awarded the Centenary Prize for the MRES in Molecular Plant and Microbial Sciences, Philip Uray Haley. <laughs> Anya Lindstrom Battle, Hongwei Liu, Dominic Lovedale, Luigi Manuelli. Awarded the Southwood Prize, Kurush McCormick. <laughs> Sarah Middleton. Myrie Miller. Curtis Moon. Hannah Needham. Bethany Nichols. Sonny O'Dedra. Alina Paduraru. Kuna Park, Kara Patel, John Patterson, Jennifer Pierce, <laughs> Callum Pennington, Hazel Pugh, Ryan Rothman, Brooke Rothschild Mancinelli, Oliver Scott, Derek Shapiro, Vasily Shenchen, Amrit Pal Singh, Rahul Singh. Awarded the Southwood Prize, Margot Stayat. <laughs> Nicholas Tu. Awarded the Centenary Prize for the MRES in Systems and Synthetic Biology, Yure Titsa. Patrice Tinking, Mark Titley, Alex Tunis Corzon, Yella Vanderhilst, Kieran Walker, Max Wormsley, Emma Wormsley, Zi Yin Wang, Emily Warner, Cecilia Watrobska. Peter Wellam, Bethany West, James Westgate, Matthew Wong. Awarded the GCE Prize for the MRES in Ecosystems and Environmental Change, Jessica Ellen Wood. <laughs> Chi Hon Wu, Grace Wu, <coughs> Harris Yuang Mani. Jinji Drew, Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Life Sciences, Benedetta Bonito, Laura Boucher, Alex Byrne, awarded the Life Sciences PhD Centenary Prize for Outstanding Performance in Science Communication, Catherine Charwood. Jackie Lockyi Chung, Valentina Chisnetto, Farah Aida Binti Dahalan, Keelan Exley, Virginia Fairclough, Katie Ferrant, Robert Furness, Joe Greener, Andrew Hammond, 
Tin Yu Hui, Nan Jia, Burak Valley Kabasako, Latifa Karim, awarded the Life Sciences PhD Centenary Prize for Outstanding Performance in Science Communication, Louise Elizabeth Kerry. Esther Lakatosh, Cecilia LaRossa, Sujina Lekmichai, Ben Macro, Stefans Mazoulas, Kaseni Miliara, Shurik Mombricot, Helen Phillips, Rebecca Price, Emma Richards, Sheng Shi Shu, Arabella Bryony Taylor, Tiandi Yang, Ling Shan Yu. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Life Sciences. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduating class. Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Science, Department of Mathematics, Sophia Bennett, Federico Batuzzi, Armand Bonet, Redwan Buizi, Meng Kai, Eduardo Carvalho, Barry Mikhail Cavan, Jasper Kettergren, Neofitos Harlam Perez. Dipanjan Chatterjee, Ling Ling Chen, Fan Chen, Yu Cheng, Tian Yu Cheng, Sebastian Tzitzel, Henry Clausen, Olivia Coles, Tang Gai Cornuau. Awarded the MSc Prize in Stochastic Analysis, Stefan Curtis. Jose, Jose Francesco Dos Ries. Quentin Des Rousseau. Vigard Loftus Divald. Tao Do. James Edbrook. Inas El Harak. Lauren Gaines, Kana Gandhi, Daniel Garcia Racinas, Leonie Goldman, Austin Grigate, Maria Hadi Christou, Ying He, Jacob Russell Holy, Jesse Hugh, Yi Hu, Matthew Irwin, Akash Jail, awarded the Department of Mathematics Prize, Zhou Fan Jiang, Al Alexander King, Liridan Collage, Liang Zai Zhang, Daniel Jason. Lester, Chi Si Li, Shi Jun Liu, Yu Ji Liu, Camille Lauren, Run Yang Mao, Alexander Marvel, Andrea Marcao. Linda Mayorga. Denise Michelle Meinhardt. No. Simon? Oh, there she is. 
Uh, okay. Lamer Megbin, sorry. Simon Philip Mares. Alexander Millar. Marcus Skyman Miraman. Samuel Osborne. Ludger Paler. Adrian Pallerit. Georgis Peias. Christoph Pizabon. Baptiste Portenard. Eshan Pradeep. Mohamed Belal. Tom Rue. Vishal Rupar Ilia. Awarded the Winton Prize for the Best MSc Statistics Student, Francesco Sana Passino. Awarded the Department of Mathematics Prize for the Best MSc Pure Mathematics Student, Johannes Schaefer. Awarded the Department of Mathematics Prize, Best MSc Pure Mathematics Project, Alexander Schell. <laughs> Awarded the Royal Statistics Society Prize, Lucas Schultz. <laughs> Manisha Segal. Edward Saraima. Uh, awarded the Warner Prize, Louis Sharak. <laughs> Yandi Shi. Akshita Singh. Anuhab Singh Sachan. Claire Schmid. Zhao Gang Song. Aroi Sud. Conrad. Strode, Stefan Thies, Theordis Thorsteins, Letizia Mandiola, sorry, <laughs> Manuel Dos Santos, Wu Tang Hyung, Wang Fan, Wang Fi. Wang Yan Lan, Bin Wang, Eric Winkleman, Tsi Him Jonathan Wong, Chen Yi Ji, Tan Yu Zhu, Yi Chin Yang, Yu Han Yao, Hume Sunny Ya. Claudia Yip, Marco Paolo Zampino, Zhao Yun Zhai, Kai Qi Zhang, Yu Pai Zhao, Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Research Department of Mathematics, Julia Carigi. Mm -hmm. Maria Jacob, five six five. Tsi Yan Loing, Laura Mansfield, Alessandro Milazzo, Joseph Walwork, Li Fan Zhan. Diploma of the Imperial College Dep Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Mathematics, Marco Agnesi. Alexis Arnudin, Sergei Badikov, Richard Bell, Alexander Bolton, Christianus Broga, Adam Butler, Toby Kirk, Risha Kumar. Chin Xiong Lim, Alexander John Malcolm, 
Andrea Natale. Michelle Nguyen. Andrea Petracisi. Francesco Ricchi. Nimat Safarov. Atika Sheikh. Matteo Tanzi. Karia Alba Taranto. James Wynn. That concludes the graduates of the Department of Mathematics. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduating class. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Physics, Faraz Abu Al Naja. Zamzam Ahmed Hilal Al Kelali. Abba Taran Anthony, I'm sorry. <laughs> Awarded the Blackett Laboratory MSc Physics Prize, Sharmina Bono Mali. Nicola Francois Boulet, Leonard Brafman, David Bretto, awarded the Abdus Salam Postgraduate Prize, Joshu Calvo Aro Kutecha. <laughs> Soline Chabanier, Zhu Wang Chen, Linton Chen, Shane De Silva, Sean Devlin. Elsa Ducro, Leo Bardavinsky, Michael Edwards, Matthew Elman, Christopher Erickson, Bingwa Fen, Jacques Fen, Adelie Gors, Joanna Huang, Gotam Kam. Bum Party. It's gone. Lucas Knuster. Marcel Florin Langer. Mung Bo Long. Eugene Lua. Tom Maber. Alex Mitchell. Simon Moorman. Cameron Oliver. Samuel Palmer, Angelica Polu, Luca Riali, Joanna Ribaro da Cuna Gomes Tashera, <laughs> Jamie Rogers, Miriam Shanku, Julia Seidel, Chao Yen So, Matthew Strafford. Sanjayan Tambiraja, Marcus Vusvunas, Sarah Catherine White, Samuel Whittington, Alistair Wickens, Tsi Tsong Wong, okay. Keen Tai Yo, Zitslo Young, and Wei Zhao. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Research, Department of Physics, Ruth Ayres, Paul Dichtel, Christopher Fuller, awarded the PE CDT Outstanding Achievement Prize for MRES course, Samuel Hillman. <laughs> Sarunas Julegas, Paniotta Carforo, Awarded the PECDT Outstanding Achievement Prize for Research, Joel Luke. <laughs> Awarded the Sir Peter Knight Prize, UA Ma. <laughs> Sozos Michael. Lokeshwari Mohan. Sinclair Ratnasingham. Francesco Salerno, David Stringer, Gurun Wai, Tai Wai, 
Lee Wan. Diploma of Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Physics, Yaya Al Saleh. Federico Armata, Martin Arnold, Reese Barnett, Max Boleinga, Davidi Braga, Richard Cameron, Ya Mung Chao, Ian Carter, awarded the Anne Thorne Thesis Prize, Jack Gartside. James Clough, Louis Corp, Carlo Casaro, Samuel Cryer, awarded the Winton Capital Prize for the best PhD thesis in physics, Benjamin Dive. Adam Elwood, Oliver Ettlinger, Julia Felito, Joseph Gibson, Alexander Givaniti, Oliver Gould, Simoli Grandi, Andrea Greco, Maruts, I'm sorry, Moritz Humba, <laughs> I'm sorry, Ian Jubb, Rudolf Kalvex, Benjamin Kalb, Camille Zeko Zekfa, Marcarina Lagos, Ludovico Latmiro, Chiara Liberani, Wing Yen Ma. Awarded the AWE PhD Prize for Excellence, Christopher McGlinshay. <laughs> Anthony Mill, Nicola Molinari, Alexander Mot Motram, Luca Occhi, Luke Pickering, Andre Ranchin. Adam Reddy, Federico Reddy, Michael Rutherford, Philip Sandwell, Victoria Shoutsova, Dilshad Shorky, Toshihiko Shibanuma, Christopher Sparrow, Madia Ibrahimi, Marcus Talching, Arjuv Trevedi, Anthony Vaquero Steiner, awarded the Blackett Laboratory Industry Club Thesis Prize, Michelle Vizi, <laughs> Daniel Walk, Barnaby Walker, Scott Wheeler, Robert Wilson. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Physics and the Faculty of Natural Sciences. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduation. <laughs>
and you should all feel pride in your accomplishments. I'm an evolutionary biologist, and a lot of what we study is variation and diversity. And undoubtedly, there's a lot of diversity in this room, obviously in subject, subject matter, from mathematicians to environmental scientists, surgeons to epidemiologists. Orthogonal to that, there'll be some of you more interested in doing experiments, others in computer simulations, some working out new methodologies, others in synthesizing the conceptual foundations of a field. Some more interested in better understanding the origins of disease, and others in curing the disease. And that's all to the good, because I hope, you, as, you, as you have all learned in your studies here, one of the strengths of the scientific and medical enterprises is the diversity, it's how people of, of different ways of thinking can all help contribute. And then there's personal circumstances. Some of you will have known for 10 years this is exactly what you wanted to do. Others of you will have kind of drifted into it. And similarly, some of you know now exactly what you want to do next, and others a little less sure. With economic progress and development, there's an ever-increasing diversity of occupations and lifestyles open to you, much more than when I graduated, let alone the generation before. Maybe there's too much choice, and for some it's bewildering. But the good news is you don't have to decide now what you want to do for the next 40 years. That's much more opportunity uh, than ever before to change, and so do be open to the possibility of change. And then there's the undoubted diversity of motivations, what it is that has driven you to do your studies. For some, it will have been the intrinsic interest and as an end in, its, uh, in itself. For others, it will, be a, will have been a means to an end maybe to making money or contributing something to society at large. And motivations, too, can change over your lifetime. For my own part, I started with some sort of intellectual fascination with the logic of evolutionary biology, the logic of evolution by natural selection, from which so much can be derived from uh, so few uh, beginning assumptions. And that's an intellectual fascination which, if I'm honest, wasn't really interested in what I, whether what I was doing was useful for anyone outside of science. And to a certain extent, that's okay. That doesn't break the rules. And that continued for 10 or 15 years until one day I had a classic aha moment where reading a paper from a completely different field in, on gene therapy in humans triggered a series of thoughts triangulating between the two fields the upshot of which was maybe all the stuff I had been doing for its own intrinsic interest could actually be useful more broadly. And so for the last dozen or so years, I've been trying to see what we might, how we might copy some of the tricks of nature and figure out ways to genetically modify whole populations, and in particular, one or two species of mosquito. As many of you will know, hundreds of thousands of people die every year due to uh, mosquito-borne diseases such as malaria. And there's a tremendous economic burden imposed by these diseases as well. What if we could use genes to, for example, convert a mosquito population to be all males? males don't, male mosquitoes don't bite, they don't transmit disease, and obviously a population all of males is gonna crash. And that has taken me in a whole new direction from where I was before. It means collaborating, Working, going from a group of four or five individuals, working as part of a large team, we're now over 100 individuals, 15 institutions on three continents. And that can be go, uh, both great and also at times more difficult than the science itself. And it's not just the science or the teams, we've also got to see whether people actually want what it is that we're trying to develop. And so there's a lot of societal engagement, a lot of listening, and answering questions as best we can. And here I've been very lucky and had a lot of help building the team and it's because of them that I have the opportunity to be here today and thank them for it. For them I give thanks. So, except in the most extreme of cases, do follow your interests, inclinations and aptitudes. There's no one right, to, one way, right way to do things and many ways to make a positive contribution. Be alert to opportunities and open to change. Your achievements here Graduating from Imperial College undoubtedly open doors for you and make the most of those opportunities. I trust during your studies, 
you've been all been able to develop your sense of respect for evidence, for data and logic, for acts and reasoning, and also to recognize when those things are themselves not enough. That's going to be useful throughout your life. And I trust you'll take the moment to enjoy the day. Uh, you've all earned that, and hardly needs worth saying, take lots of pictures. Congratulations again. And I would now like to announce the Student Award for Outstanding Achievement. And for that, I would like to ask Dr. Miriam Axel to come on stage, please. And join me here. Thank you. Just stand right here so everybody can see you. Dr. Miriam Axel is a great ambassador for Imperial College. She's a proactive supporter of diversity and a promoter of equality, whose creativity, drive, and ambition are matched by her academic ability. Through an organization that she started with her mother, she's supporting science and maths education in Cambodia, particularly the education of women. And she volunteers at energy and sustainability events, gives her time as a journalist and policy analyst. She has set up a social entrepreneurship prize in Mexico and helped to set up a student chapter of the UK Association of Energy Engineers. And these are just a few of her achievements. And on top of that, she has found time to write a children's book. Maybe you can hand some out here today. <laughs> and has won several academic prizes and scholarships. You're really remarkable. And therefore, I invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Dr. Miriam Axel the Student Award for Outstanding Achievement in recognition of the considerable contribution she has made to the life and work of Imperial College London. And now for the President's Medals. I'd like to ask Dr. Fahid Sharezai to come, to, to come forward. Could you please stand here? Throughout his career at Imperial College London, Dr. Fahid Sharezai has shown exemplary support and mentorship of PhD students. His empathy, guidance, and inspirational mentorship have, have helped some of his students facing unexpected or difficult circumstances to finish their PhD. In each case, his support has been essential, which he has given without expectation of recognition. His nominator, Professor Richard Craster, summed it up when he wrote, we have many supervisors who can point to wonderful student development, but I can think of no other supervisor who has so selflessly committed himself to so completely supporting students with difficulties. Therefore, I invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Dr. Fahid Sharezai the President's Medal for Excellence in Research Supervision. Now I'd like to ask Professor Austin Birch back. Sorry to have you sit down and get up again. Do you please stand here? Thank you. As the principal investigator for the Target Malaria Project, Professor Austin Birch has long been committed to engaging the public in research. His commitment to social engagement has been at the heart of the project, and his vision goes far beyond the usual idea of engagement. He ensures that the public are involved and have an input during the development of technology. Professor Burt has not only dedicated his time to events which engage with the public, but he has made sure that there are adequate resources to carry out this two-way process between scientists and communities in Africa. His colleagues and a generation of younger researchers have also benefited from and been inspired by his leadership finding new skills and new ways of engaging the public as a result of his commitment. 
I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Professor Austin Bird, Bert, sorry, the President's Medal for Excellence in Societal Engagement. Presentation of the Imperial College Medal. During an association with Imperial that has lasted for almost four decades and, sadly for us, will end with his retirement next month, Mr. Richard Dickens has transformed music at Imperial from humble beginnings to a thriving and integral part of college life. Back in 1979, when he was an undergraduate just across the road at the Royal College of Music, he was asked by a friend to conduct Imperial's orchestra. Since that day, and under his leadership, the music community has grown from one small orchestra to four large orchestras, several choirs, vocal ensembles, a big band, a wind band, and much more. There have been many highlights over the years including the triumphant win for the Imperial College Symphony Orchestra in a national competition, beating those orchestras from universities with prestigious academic music departments. Richard's career-long dedication to music and musicians at Imperial has enriched the lives of so many students and staff. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Mr. Richard Dickens an Imperial College Medal in recognition of the outstanding contribution he has made to the life and work of Imperial College London. Excuse me a moment. Dame Mary Archer is not only an acclaimed scientist, but is also renowned for her pioneering work in the field of health, particularly within the NHS. As an expert in solar energy conversion and a former Cambridge lecturer, Dame Mary has written a long list of seminal books and papers considered to be classics in the field. She gained her PhD from Imperial in the late 1960s and since then has maintained close links with the college as a visiting professor at the Department of Biochemistry and as a former visiting professor in the Imperial Centre for Energy Policy and Technology. Dame Mary has long been dedicated to promoting and defending public services. During 18 years as chair of Addenbrooke's Charitable Trust, she led a groundbreaking initiative to help patients with prostate cancer and she currently leads a group to create, to create online help for patients with bladder cancer. It was for her services to the NHS that Dame Mary was appointed Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 2012. I also need to add a very personal thanks to Dame Mary for founding the Lloyds of London Tercentenary Foundation, through which I got my first job at Imperial College. And it seems to have gone quite well since then. So, Therefore, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council to award Dame Mary Archer an honorary degree of Doctor of Science in recognition of her outstanding contribution in the field of photoelectrochemistry and for her service to the NHS. President, members of court and council, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. When I was appointed chair of Council of Imperial College, I became the first chair to have also been an alumnus of the college. So although it was some time ago, I know what it feels like to occupy the other place on this stage. 
I've stood here as a graduating student, as those of you have today, with my proud family sitting in the audience, as are many of yours here today. Of course, you are not just graduating students, but graduating postgraduate students from one of the world's greatest universities. This is an exceptional achievement by any measure. You have excelled at advanced studies, demonstrating creativity, commitment, and mastery of your disciplines. In your research and projects, you have made original contributions, creating new knowledge and insights. You've gained many valuable skills, and I'm sure these will help propel you forward your careers. I give you all my warmest congratulations. And it's not just me saying that Imperial is a great university. The Times Education Rankings puts us as third highest in Europe and eighth in the world. Other measures vary, but in almost all of them, we feature in the top handful of places across the world. Only a very small percentage of the world's population hold a degree at all, let alone a postgraduate qualification from a top university. So you are very privileged and you're very special. I'd like you to see today, not as the end of a journey, but the beginning of a new chapter. You will all have many opportunities to come, and I wish you every success in harnessing them. Now, it's my responsibility to bring these proceedings to a close, but before doing so, I'd like to thank some of those responsible for the success of today's ceremony. So firstly, without trying to name them individually, please join me in thanking all of those who have worked so hard to plan and organize today's service. And particularly for today, I would like to echo Alice's thanks to Provost James Sterling, for which this is his final graduation before his retirement from Imperial this coming summer. Thank you very much, James. We must thank the wonderful musicians who have performed throughout this ceremony, including the marvellous soloist, medical student Giles Chick. Our musicians are led by Richard Dickens, about which you've heard already, and so I'd, and he's rightly been honoured with a college medal. But please could you join me in thanking Richard, Giles, and of course also all of the other musicians. Now, it's your day and it's your achievement, but sitting behind me is an array of people who've helped and guided you. But it's not only them. They've been joined by technicians, support staff, and others, all of whom have helped you through your time here. So I'd ask you to thank not only your professors and teachers, but also all of the other staff from Imperial who've helped you in your studies. Of course, there are you, our graduates. It's your drive and your enthusiasm that makes Imperial such an exciting and vibrant place. So we all want to thank you, graduates, and celebrate your achievement. Now, importantly, we're close to the end of the ceremony, but this is not farewell. You are part of a worldwide network of Imperial alumni. We'll be here for you, and we will be pleased to help you as you go on to have your stellar careers. And I dare say it, at some point in the future, we may, in turn, turn to you for, to ask for help. The serious point, really, is that we're very proud of what you've achieved, and we'll be proud of what you go on to achieve. So please do stay in touch as members of the Imperial family. Now, it seems to me that the applause so far has been very polite. Perhaps it's the formality of the occasion. And this place has seen much more noise than so far we've generated. So very finally, I'd like to invite you, the postgraduates, to thank your most important supporters, your parents, your partners, your brothers and sisters, children and friends who've been there when you needed them. Please stand and thank your family and friends.